Hello, my name is Madeline Jorgensen, and I'm a junior at Gothenburg High School. And my poem is entitled, I Sculpture. My accomplishments and future goals are collectively a block of ice, slowly melting and slipping out of my grasp. I try and try, but somehow I always melt under the heated stares of others. I hear their thoughts put into words for no other reason than to torment me and see an embarrassed expression frozen on my face. The cold truth is I actually have many accomplishments and am involved in a multitude of things. These are, however, overshadowed. Medals, awards, and trophies from my past are small, singular grains of sand in the desert of people's frozen attitudes. No matter how hard I try, there will always be another sand dune that is higher than mine. Maybe if I am diligent in something other than schoolwork, then I will be seen as more than the girl that can help you with your math homework or translate for you in Spanish 3. Maybe I will never have friends unless I do stupid things I'm totally against, unless I copy someone's homework, unless I never ace a test. It seems as if I will never be seen as equal unless I wear a sports jersey with my name on the back, unless I throw a shoot a ball, I am not really there. I can dance to my heart's desire, but they say a sport in which you wear makeup is not really a sport at all. I and my accomplishments are nothing to them. Band, academics, poetry, and speech, instead of basketball, volleyball, or soccer, my dreams should just melt and flow into the sewer grate on the corner of worthless and ignored two streets that have become very familiar to me. If only everyone could accept that we were meant to be unique, we were meant to be snowflakes. But no one focuses on what makes us special. They focus on what makes us different, like deviating from the norm is bad. And they use those deviations and turn them into stones. So they, hurtful words are thrown out, chipping at the permafrost that holds those people together. Compliments build bridges between people, but I heard more hurtful words in the hallway yesterday morning than I did compliments in the last week. All of this swirls in my mind. I know I shouldn't let other people melt my dreams into a lifeless puddle. Instead, I should use their icy words to help keep my dreams solid. Someday, I will have the courage to build myself an ice sculpture. And on that day, I will be okay with being the only piece of shining ice in the desert. <laughs>